Dear Washington and Alaska HFMA members, we hope you and your families are safe and healthy. A heartfelt thank you also goes out to all of our members that are serving on the front lines. We are keeping you in our thoughts and prayers. I am Vincent Stevens, and I currently serve in the role of Chapter President. And on behalf of all the volunteer leaders, we want to express our sincere gratitude for all the support we've received during this crisis and in the wake of having to cancel our live events. Our members and business partners have stepped up to provide online webinars, articles for our newsletters, and time and resources as we start to plan our live events for this fall. We've also heard amazing stories of our members doing things in the community, such as standing up virtual hospital beds and building COVID-19 testing kits and delivering meals to people in need. That is the true spirit of our chapter. On the fake news front, though, you may have seen a video of a sham news network claiming that the Oregon HFMA volleyball team has beaten Russia, Finland, and other international teams. This is simply not true. They were also touting their so-called Oregon Ducks. Well, what I do know is true is that the Washington and Alaska HFMA volleyball team is going to face off against Oregon. Saturday, August 1st at the Mayfield Park in Mossy Rock, Washington at 11 a.m. It's going to be a family affair and everybody's invited. warn you, when a Seahawk meets a duck, it's usually not a pretty sight. Watch this video clip and you'll see what I mean. On this particular hunt, a duck is on Dora's radar. The assault begins with her descent, and before impact, she clenches her talons and strikes the prey down to the ground. 